In the following screen recording, uh, I'm going to take an existing movie that I've created, an existing screen recording that I had used uh, by uh, using the screen recording feature of QuickTime and uploading it to an existing uh, YouTube account that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, my browser window and I'm going to go to youtube.com and if I'm logged into my Google Apps account, I should see the upload button, but if I don't, go ahead and click the sign in button. And uh, once I have signed into my YouTube account, I'm going to click upload. And you'll notice I'll get a screen that says drag any of the files that I want to upload right to the screen. And then there's just three different kinds of privacy settings. Public means that it's searchable through the YouTube search, uh, so anyone in the world can see it. Unlisted means you actually have to have the URL to find it. So this is uh, sort of a pseudo-private uh, video, but um, you can distribute the video to your colleagues or to your students. And private means that only you can see it. So uh, you can store videos uh, that you might want to use uh, later just for yourself. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make this unlisted because I think this video is not going to be helpful to the general YouTube public, but I am going to share it with uh, other colleagues here at Blake. Um, I'm going to uh, find the video that I had made earlier about making a screen recording with QuickTime and then drag and drop it over here and you can see uh, once I do uh, it will show the progress of uploading um, and then all I need to do is click this it'll take a moment for it to process I'll just wait uh, usually it's pretty quick depending on the length of the uh, video And then once it's done processing, all I need to do is uh, select this link. So um, if I am on a Mac, I can hold the control key down to copy the link address, or I can actually click the link uh, once it's done processing and copy the link address uh, from up there as well. Um, once I'm done, then I can go ahead and distribute that link uh, through email on my Moodle page, um, anywhere uh, to allow people to uh, watch my screencasting video. Uh, very simple way to distribute videos. One of the great uh, features of YouTube is you can store as much video as you want forever and ever and ever.